The year is 2205. The place is Mega City One. Anarchy rules until it meets Judge Dredd, the ultimate lawman, who shoots first and doesn't even bother to ask questions later. This summer, in a $65 million blockbuster, Sylvester Stallone brings the comic book hero to the big screen. Now, when you want to get around a badass town like Mega City One, there's no point in using some soppy, everyday car. So when the filmmakers got to thinking about wheels, they decided that they needed the toughest vehicles on Earth. Vehicles that can withstand the meanest streets in this future nightmare. So the boys from Hollywood scoured the planet and they ended up in Solihull, knocking on the door of Land Rover. And this is what they got, the discovery of the future. Because in the 23rd century, Land Rover is the only car maker that survived. All the rest are gone. Now, in the beginning, Hollywood created its own vehicles for the film. But then the real designers from Land Rover came along, and they said, nah, you don't want to do it like that. You want to do it like this. I think I have a little bit of a reputation for slightly more outrageous work within, within Rover design. So this was uh, really suited me, I suppose. And uh, it was just a fantastic opportunity, you know, blue skies and uh, really a, ch a chance to run riot. We took some work down to the, the, the film set, down to the, the art department there. And uh, by chance, one of the sketches I showed was, was yellow, which was a, you know, the right color for a, an American cab, New York cab. And really the producer just picked it up, picked up on it. And uh, it, it sort of bombshell from there, from that point. I actually went down and spent two days working on, in the art department alongside some of their guys, but uh, it was my work that was, that was actually picked. The bodywork had to be rather simplistic in its surfaces so that uh, it could be lit more easily under film conditions. So this is why you, you see this rather stealth-like quality of sort of prismatic uh, flat surfaces. The face of the vehicle, it sort of reflects um, baseball, helmets, uh, ski, ice, ice skating, helmets, this kind of thing. Um, it had to portray something, you know, a little bit sinister. It had to appear like a fortress on wheels, sort of castellation, um, to, to really protect the occupants. The, the automotive industry is a particularly conservative sphere of design, and uh, this was really an opportunity to be relished as far as trying to, uh, to portray or uh, present something which um, had far more heart values, emotional values, uh, something more akin to you know, the, the, the appeal of a sports car, but you know, it's not a sports car, it's a 4x4. Four four. The next time you see this machine, it'll be taking Sylvester Stallone to the Judge Dredd premiere. In the meantime, I've got some cleaning to do. Mind you, I could get Clarkson to do it. I know he's not busy. Hey! <laughs> Do you like my new car? <laughs>